In my last video blog, I discussed some examples of attention getting introductions. In this video, I want to offer some warnings about potential momentum stoppers, or as I call them, speed bumps in the introduction. Speed bumps are meant to slow you down while driving through neighborhoods and parking lots. And while we certainly want them in those places, you don't want them in your sermon introductions. Put another way, there are things you can say that slow down the momentum that a good sermon introduction is supposed to create. Let's consider three examples. First, never begin with an apology. Don't say something like, look folks, I just want to share with you from my heart, but I'm not prepared. Or, I apologize, but I just feel so nervous. Or, the football game was on and I just didn't have enough time to study for this week's sermon. I think you get the idea. You might think you're being transparent, but apologizing in advance for your sermon will lower your audience's expectations, and you never want to do anything to lower their expectations. Second, never begin with a threat. I've heard sermons begin with, now some of you aren't gonna like what I have to say. If you say this, the listener will likely believe you and put their defenses up. Instead, you can tell a story, a parable, or some other form of an inductive sermon that will require people to wait until the end of it to be confronted by its message. If you think your sermon has the potential to be offensive or controversial, don't tempt people to tune out by threatening them in the introduction. Third, don't stop to pray after you've begun your sermon. The sermon introduction is supposed to get and keep people's attention, and that can be hard for them if after beginning the message, you then ask them to close their eyes and bow their heads. Instead, think about praying before the sermon begins. This signals to the congregation that the sermon is about to start, as well as putting everyone in the proper state of mind. I often will pray this prayer before I begin a message. Lord, we've worshiped you with our singing, and we've worshiped you with our giving. Now help us to worship you with our listening. It's my hope that preachers watching this will be part of the answer to that prayer by not doing anything that would slow down the momentum in their introduction. Speed bumps are for cars, not for sermon introductions. So, what are your thoughts on this? Are there any other speed bumps you've run into while delivering your sermon? Let us know by commenting below, and don't forget to check out more videos and blogs right here on ThoughtHub.